This little pocket-sized cylinder is a home theater projector with smart TV capabilities, a built-in battery, and a Bluetooth speaker. So that means that you could just set this down and never plug anything in. No need for a speaker, HDMI, not even a power cable. And you could still watch movies or live TV in your living room or on your deck or uh, tailgating literally anywhere you want. This is the Capsule 3 by Anchor, and it's a pocket-sized projector that is part of, honestly, a silent revolution in home media devices. I know that's a bold claim, but I'll explain what I mean there. You see, people used to have a, a TV and a VCR, and then a DVD player, and then people got Chromecast and Roku sticks, and then eventually that was built into the TV. Some chose to have big projectors, some chose big TVs, but no matter what, it was always stationary. Bringing your TV to a party or a presentation or a tailgate was never a convenient option. But now, technology is allowing us to see smaller and smaller projectors that you can literally bring anywhere. And the, and the quality is surprisingly good. But really, to summarize my point here, if you think of normal TVs and projectors like desktop computers, this, this is a laptop. It's small and mobile, and it has a ton of benefits and completely new use cases that we'll talk about throughout this video. But of course, it's not the first and definitely not the only mini projector out there but the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3 could very well be one of the best. But before I get into the specifics, this product right here is a pre-production unit that I've been using for the past couple weeks. But I wanted to give a shout out and say thanks to the Anchor Nebula team for hooking me up with an early unit and for sponsoring this video. Because of that, this video is really going to be me talking about what this projector is, like what this device is capable of doing, and where you can use it, what kind of use cases I came up with that I thought were really interesting and unique here. Okay, so let's start off with the physical design. You can see a, a very small cylinder overall, but it's a lot heavier than you'd expect. Picking it up, like obviously there's a battery in here and, and a lot going on on the inside, but in, in overall dimensions of it, it's probably like it's a little bit larger than a Guinness can, like slightly taller, definitely a lot girthier, but still substantially smaller than any projector or most other Bluetooth speakers for that matter that I've ever seen. On the front, we have our lens right there outlined in red. I think the red looks kind of nice, nice touch on there. And it actually is 1080p and it's a laser projector. We'll talk more about the image in a second. But on the bottom, you see we have a small camera lens right there. And that is because this doesn't have any kind of focus or keystone. It'll do that automatically for you using that camera. So you set it down, it'll automatically focus, automatically keystone, no matter what it's pointing out, what angle. It's really a nice feature to have. Flipping it around to the back, you'll see obviously very porous design. It is a speaker on the inside, so you can kind of see the speakers through there every now and then. And of course we have our power button and the little switch button that will convert this from a, a projector to a Bluetooth speaker. When you turn it on, you just press that button. It'll toggle between the two functions. Again, really useful if you're bringing this around places to be able to use it as a speaker because it has a nice speaker on the inside. On the bottom, we have an HDMI port so you can plug in. Remember I said you don't have to, but you actually can plug in a laptop or a Chromecast. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you did have some other device that you wanted to plug into this, you can do that down there. We also have USB Type-C for power. It has a battery on here that lasts up to two and a half hours, uh, which is really impressive that you can do that. I usually plug it in anyway, so I don't have to worry about the battery. But again, that's a cool feature. And then we have a three and a half millimeter port. If you want to plug in another speaker, you can do that. But this also has Bluetooth and of course Wi-Fi, uh, being a Bluetooth speaker and also a smart TV. Inside this device, we obviously have a fan. And this is one of the big things that everybody asks about new projectors is how loud is the fan? And because this is using lasers instead of LEDs, it, use, it, it produces less heat and requires a much smaller and therefore much quieter fan. And so when you turn this on, you probably won't even realize there's a fan in there. It's incredibly quiet. And especially if you're watching anything that has any volume, you really won't hear it at all. I was incredibly impressed with just how quiet this device actually is. In addition to that, I didn't talk about the top or the bottom. Uh, the bottom has a rubber mat, so it sits very firmly on a table, it won't slide around at all, even if it's like a slanted table, which is great. You don't want to drop this. On the bottom, we have quarter 20 threads on here, which conveniently is the same as like every camera out there. So you can buy any tripod. And that brings me to my first drawback, but also my solution with this device. So the drawback is that you can't adjust the angle of this. Like it's, can't, it's not gonna point up and down. It sits flat on the table. 
The solution, if you just get any small tripod or like a bendy pod, for example, you can adjust it to any angle you want. And on top of that, you could also like mount it to like whatever you want. So if it's like something you need to mount it to, you can use a bendy pod. Uh, I think that's super useful, really a cool uh, use case for this. And I'm really glad they added those threads on the bottom just so you can do that. I'll leave this guy sitting right here for the rest of the video. And on the top, we have some buttons that only pop up when you're using the projector because they're actually just capacitive touch buttons for volume, for navigating and things like that. Obviously not the only way to navigate, you can use an app on your phone or you can use the little remote controller that it comes with. Pretty basic, you'll see that on here it does have a Google Assistant button. Like I said, this is a full-blown smart TV in there. It is running Android TV 11, uh, so that's great. That means that you'll be able to get Netflix and Hulu and, and YouTube and, and everything else you want automatically baked into this device, as well as many, many other apps, so you never have to plug anything in. Now, the only other complaint I had about the design, again, and the solution here, is that it doesn't come with anything that really protects the lens. My solution was I got this little case right here. I just had it sitting around. It's like a, it came with a, a lens for my camera, and it kind of happens to be like the perfect size, so I can put this in there and protect it. And because this is meant to be portable, I highly recommend getting some type of case like this. So when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about this getting any kind of damage while in your backpack. So. Let's start off, before we get into a kind of a picture test, let's start off with a speaker test. It's surprisingly loud. Uh, it, it really does a much better job, in my opinion, than even like the Nebula Cosmos, which is their larger 4K laser projector. And be between the, the super quiet fans and the very loud speaker, I think this is really making it a pretty ideal portable projector that genuinely doesn't need uh, a secondary speaker plugged into it. As far as the picture goes, this is rated for 300 lumens, which is about 50 lumens brighter than, I believe, the Samsung projector, and it's definitely brighter than most other compact projectors. It's gonna do the best in a, a dark room with a projector screen, but I've been using this because it is versatile and portable. I've been using this in other environments, like in the kitchen or in other rooms that maybe aren't as dark or maybe have like a gray wall instead of a white wall, and it's still very visible in really every situation. I find that the auto keystone, the auto focus really make the picture great in any environment. Uh, if you line it up perfectly, you get a nice large display, but even in the most difficult situations, it still manages to give you a really nice looking image it's 1080p, it has HDR10, so you're getting good color in there. And like I said, it's a laser projector instead of an LED, which gives us quite a few benefits in here, specifically using less power, using less heat, so you need a quieter fan, and you're still getting really great color and, and great dynamic range in this as well. The interface is, like I said, Android, T Android TV 11, so you have the ability to cast from a phone, you've got Google Assistant on there, you can get apps on there, and of course you could use it for a variety of other things, really whatever you want. Uh, okay, I didn't actually set up that tripod right. And while this projector is very impressive, I would be lying to you if I said it was like the best video quality out there. It's 1080p and, and you can tell that, but Anchor also makes a higher resolution projector, their Anchor Nebula Cosmos, which you can see right here, it's a lot bigger, but with that you're getting really an incredible picture that's 4K, it's crisp, and it still has a lot of the same features we're seeing on this one. So if you wanna see that, I'll also link this down below. I might make a separate review in the future, so subscribe if you wanna see that. Now lastly, I wanna talk about some of the big use cases I came up with with uh, a small projector. Because in the end, you might say, why would I buy this instead of like a larger projector that sits in one spot? Obviously the fan noise is a big benefit here, but you could say, you know, some of the bigger ones could be cheaper, maybe they could be brighter, maybe they could be higher resolution. Um, usually they're not higher resolution for this price, but, but sometimes maybe, I don't know, maybe you found one that is. Well, I found that you can use this, first of all, in your kitchen if you wanted, that's more of a less common use case, but that'd be one that if you wanna have a cooking video projected on the wall or on the counter, you could do that while you're cooking alongside. You could also use this maybe outside on your deck in the summer or by a pool. If you have a small apartment, this is something that I personally used in, in the past. Um, I had a very small apartment, no room for a TV. And so having a projector made a lot of sense. You could also use this maybe as like a second TV in your kitchen for, for game day. If, if you, know, you have people coming over to watch a football game or something like that. 
Another great use case for this might be, say, a tailgate, especially if it's at night, or if you are camping and, and you have a large camper and you want to watch, like, a game or something with friends, you could use this in your bedroom, or really two big ones that I think I would use this the most in. Presentations, which is a big one, obviously, if you need to go and present at a new company and, and you don't want to mess with, like, all the AV stuff of, of their devices, or maybe you're even worried about that, this could always be a solid backup or a solid main uh, plan to bring this and present using your projector. Really, one of my favorites with this is actually using it in a home gym. I don't, like, I can't put a TV up in my home gym. Like, that's just not convenient. But having something like this would be a great way to not only save space, but also have it there when you want it and move it to any other wall if you have maybe like a rowing machine, if you have just like a mat where you want to do some kind of boxing workout or whatever. This is really great for all of those different use cases. And, and I think it can really elevate your home gym by having something like this. Okay, and the last thing that I didn't mention was the price. So this is a smart TV with a 1080p laser projector that's ultra quiet, ultra compact, has a nice speaker in there, and really is a well-made device that really feels pretty solid. So considering all that, they're initially selling it for $799. That's a pretty average price for something like this, but because it's made by Anchor, you guys know how they operate, they always have discounts. So even now with the pre-order, you can save $120 and buy this for $680, which I think makes it a very compelling offer in this realm of, of compact projectors. And while I do wish the remote had backlit buttons or at least glow in the dark buttons, I'll admit that you can use your phone on here. So if it's too dark, you can just use your phone to control the projector that way. So that is the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3, the sequel to some already great compact projectors. And in my opinion, one of the best ones you can buy for its versatility, it's really high quality speaker, surprisingly loud, and it's, you know, really big suite of features. It works well for me, but leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this projector. Again, thank you for watching the video and thanks to Anchor for sending this over and sponsoring.